Unlocking the secret to stock market success requires an understanding of the concept of overbought. In this video, we'll show you why you must understand this concept, what it means, and what kind of return can you expect when the stock market is considered overbought. Stay tuned and we'll answer all in this video. First, to navigate the market's complexities, you must grasp the principle of mean reversion, the main principle to understand the term overbought. In statistical terms, this means that strong deviations from the trend will eventually revert to the mean and move in the opposite direction. When we say weaker, we mean in comparison to the previous period. So what exactly is overbought? It's when the market has experienced a defined period of growth which could be days, weeks, or months. The exact duration is up to you, but it's crucial to have a clear definition. If you use a daily time frame in trading, for instance, a period of 15 days could be considered overbought depending on how much it rose during that time. At Quantified Strategies, we like to rely on numbers to illustrate our points. Therefore, we will use the RSI indicator to prove our point by formulating a trading strategy to identify overbought conditions. Hopefully, with this knowledge, you can make more informed investment decisions and achieve greater success in the market. Let's find out what happens when the stock market is overbought. We back test. We make the following trading rules. One, we buy S&P 500 at the close when the two-day RSI is above 95. Two, we sell at the close after end days. This is a simple strategy, but we make it simple to prove our point. The relative strength indicator, RSI, is used because it goes from oversold to overbought conditions constantly, and it measures the velocity of those moves. When values are high, it indicates a euphoric market as it has risen a lot over the defined look-back period. Our backtest is summarized in this table. The first column shows when we exit. Row 1 exiting after 1 day, row after 2 days, and so on. Column 3 shows that the returns in the first 5 days after entry are significantly lower than the long-term average, which is about 0.05% per day. However, as time goes on, the returns gravitate toward the long-term averages, as expected. So to conclude, our backtest shows that we can expect lower returns in the short term than average after reaching an overbought condition. That's all for today. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe and like so we can keep delivering free videos.